Is that is that that is better now? We've actually turned the mics on. So, welcome to this panel. We have an excellent group of panelists. My name is Graham Vickery. I come from OECD in Paris. Um, we have been working a great deal on digital content in, in the recent past and we are using the opportunity of, of being here at the IGF to discuss with you digital content strategies and policies um, so that we can get a better feel particularly for the sort of things we should take into account in the future, in our future work. So we're going to be discussing uh, to a certain extent um, the sorts of things that have come out of some of our work but more importantly I think for this group is we need to look forward and try and work out where we go next. So and I'm also encouraging people, if you didn't hear before, I'm encouraging people to move a little bit down, bit down closer to the front um, because when we have the question and answer it's much easier if people move down a little bit. Um, so if you uh, can, please move a little bit closer to the front. So just to give you the very brief background, um, apart from the work that we've done at OECD on individual sectors, and there's been some sector study reports available for you at the back of the room, we've also produced something which we call the OECD Policy Guidance for Digital Content, which tries to distill um, all of the work which we've done in terms of individual sectors such as music, um, online games, film and video, user-created content, scientific publishing, um, etc. And we try to distill that into a set of what we call policy guidance or policy principles of the, of the sort that would help both government and industry move forward in encouraging the growth of digital content. Um, you should all have one of these. If you do not have one or two or however many you would like to take with you, they are at the back of the room. So I'm your chairman of the day. Um, I'm going to first of all introduce very briefly um, our panelists and then I'm going to turn the, um, the podium over to my colleague Sasha Vincent who will then just show you a few slides showing you know, what their work has been and in particularly pulling out some of the principles from our policy guidance. So starting off from um, in terms of the, the order of the speakers. So what you see on the, on the um, screen there is the order of the speakers. So we're starting off with Santosh Anu. He's the head of strategy and operations at Deloitte Consulting. So we're very, very pleased to have him. So we, I think everybody's organized themselves, self-organized themselves into the order in which they're going to be speaking. So for, for you, starting on the right, um, we started with Santosh Anu, Head of Strategy and Operations, as I mentioned before. Then we have Steve Del Bianco, he's Executive Director of Net Choice, so he is, he's the second on the list there. Then we have Venkata Rao, Head of Portals and Consumer Marketing at SIFI uh, Corporation. Um, then we have Nick Lundblad, um, Public uh, Policy Affairs from Hello. <laughs> You've got out of order here. <laughs> Sorry. No, Nicholas is directly behind me almost, so we have we've got out of order. Then we have Jeremy Malcolm Malcolm from Consumers International. And we have Mark Carvel, who's not Nicholas, but he's Mark. He's the one with the glasses there. Um, who's the Assistant Director, UK Department for Business, Enterprise and Regulatory Reform. Um, who will t tell us a bit about policy. So we're going to start with a more general approach and try and move and look at the developments in digital content and then move uh, uh, step by step a little bit towards um, issues from, for example, consumers, issues from um, the government as well. And then we'll turn it over for a freewheeling discussion um, amongst the panel, but I would hope that we'll have lots of questions from the floor. And there'll be a roving mic for those um, who uh, wish to... Uh, pose questions to the panel. So I will, without any further ado, I'll ask my colleague, Sasha, to make a very brief presentation of what is in the digital content principles, and then we'll begin after that with Santosh. Please, Sasha. Yes, uh, thank you, Graham, and uh, welcome to you all to this uh, panel. And I'm also very pleased by this, uh, by this wonderful, um, by these wonderful list of panelists we have here. Now, on the rationale uh, of the digital content guidelines that we did, it was basically the recognition uh, that digital content is increasingly important and pervasive factor uh, in economic, but also social development. The starting point was also the recognition that there is this positive.